Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Billy and Joe Top 10 Show. I am Billy Powell, and as on my left, you can see Joe Carney. Uh, hello. How, I hope everybody's doing okay on their weekend. And this is the Billy and Joe Show, Top Billy and Joe Top 10 Show. Uh, please subscribe to our page on Facebook, the Billy and Joe Top 10 Show. Uh, also, our YouTube channel, the Keeping Nostalgia Alive Show. Uh, just type that in. You'll be able to watch all of our programs. Uh, Joe Carney is the host of Indie's Local Flavor on Anchor.fm. You can just type it in. Go to iTunes or you know, just type in Indie's Local Flavor like I did the other day, and it was easy for me to find. So today we are chatting about the top 21 baseball pitchers of all time. Can't wait. And I wanted to get to what we're doing first, so okay. you just don't get in depth or uh, you know involved and entertained by the stuff we do before we do the top twenty-one baseball pitchers of all time. It's going to be an interesting lineup because I'm a little bit more old school than Joe is, right. so it's going to be an interesting top twenty-one. You probably end up scratching your head by the end of the show, <laughs> but with that being said. Uh, Joe Carney, go ahead and start us off with a little news. Great. Um, NCAA basketball today, I guess it was a slugfest, not literally. Michigan beat Ohio State, went back and forth. Um, Maryland beat Rutgers. Iowa is currently beating Penn State. And um, Wisconsin's current, Northwestern, excuse me, is currently playing uh, Wisconsin on the Big Ten Network. Um, the news buzzing around Indianapolis on the Indy Star is Archie Miller of IU getting a contract buyout. They're talking about in 2020, April of 2022. And uh, I kind of called it. Uh, Carson Wentz of the Philadelphia Eagles goes to the Indianapolis Colts for a third round pick this year and a second round pick next year. Billy, your thoughts. I, first of all, on the Indiana university head basketball job, of course, yeah. this starts all the rumors of Steve Alford leaving Nevada and coming to Indiana university. Right. Um, I like that idea. Is it going to happen? Probably not. Maybe. No, no, but, but I think that's the only try it. You've already tried these other two. <laughs> it didn't work out. So, and I know we're going through a pandemic, but try it. See if it works. If it works, great. If not, and I know Mike Woodson doesn't want to have anything to do with college basketball. Just right. a long career in um, uh, the NBA, coaching in the NBA. Now, right. on Carson Wentz and the Indianapolis Colts. Yeah. What I'm, you gonna, I'm gonna sit here and watch and see. My initial reaction is nope. But I do know that he has the connection with uh, Coach Frank Reich. Right. Yep. Um, and Reich, sorry, excuse me. But um, I just, I just, I just, I just don't see it happening. I guess I'm sitting here in Houston, Texas, and seeing the um, uh, the flamethrower being um, given to the Houston Texans organization, and was hoping <laughs> that maybe uh, Deshaun, you know, the Houston Texans would do another bonehead thing and send Deshaun but Watson patch, packing to the Indianapolis Colts, but that's, that's not going to happen. No. So um, the, okay. So people are really hot or people are either hot, really hot on this trade or really cold on this trade. So I'm in, I'm going to, I'm a, I'm a Colts supporter. I'm going to give him a chance. However, I was talking with my buddy Craig last night and we broke the, we broke the trade down out of four seasons. He's played one whole season. And if you're talking fantasy football stats, not so much, he's not a marquee quarterback. Is he going to take you to the Super Bowl? So having said all that, if Ty, Ty T Y Hilton leaves, who's he going to throw to? And then you have to ask yourself, Who's going to replace Anthony Constanza on the offensive line? And then you have to say, how do they shore up their defense? So I'm, 
I'm okay with Carson Wentz. I don't like the picks. I don't like coughing up the picks. But, you know, I'm okay with Carson Wentz. He's a good person. He's, but here's what it really is, Billy. He's an affordable quarterback. And that's why the Colts got him. So I, lo- I love Greg Ballard, the GM, but he's an affordable quarterback. He's cap friendly. And um, I wish him well. Mm, yeah, at least we won the Super Bowl in 2007. <laughs> Quite. <laughs> um, mo- moving on to uh, recent celebrity deaths. Um, Prince Mark E.D. of the Fat Boys was only 52 when he passed away. Uh-huh, Chick- uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, human be box. Yes. Uh, Chick Corea, the jazz uh, great and pianist, was 77. And Mr. Controversial himself, Rush Limbaugh, died at 70. So there you have it. I will say I was you zipped your mouth on Rush Limbaugh. I will make a I will make a comment on Rush Limbaugh. I res, I respect Rush Limbaugh. He was a great entertainer. He found the audience that he catered to. And um he was Fox News before Fox News. So are you familiar with a Maybach luxury car? Mm-mm. Okay. Um, I believe Mercedes Benz owns them now. They start at 500K. He had five. I was like, wow. So there you have it. All right, the zipper unzipped. I don't know. I guess maybe I should have a new one or whatever, but no matter who you are. Yes. No matter who you are. Right. A death is not to be celebrated. I agree with that. And I was very disappointed to see it celebrated, no matter who you are. Right. And that's my opinion. I'm just going to leave that there and. No, 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 no. Yeah, it, it, yeah. Social media blew up. Yeah. Over that, which is. Yep. No matter who you are, death is not celebrated, man. I'm telling you. If the shoe's, no, on, I, shoe's on the other foot, I'm just, I'm just telling you. I, I, I agree 100%. Yeah. I mean, you get, no matter who, you know, you keep your families close and your enemies closer, and respect is respect. Yep. Period. Yep. So, anyway. Brighten us up with maybe a joke, Joe. <laughs> so I'm watching the best of times with Kurt Russell. And oh, uh, Lord. with Kurt Russell and Robin, Robin Williams. Williams. Wow. A football movie. And it's I'm gonna I, I liked the movie, didn't love the movie. It starts cut pretty slow, but once they finally get into the football action, they're at the football game. And there's this famous actor, he's an older guy, and he's selling in the stands peanuts and he says hot nuts get your hot nuts here and one of the crowds members says hey pal you haven't had those for 15 years (laughs) oh man i think that movie Uh is on every streaming service that's free no, it's only on Amazon Prime. No, you can find it on some other ones. It's just that bad. I mean, I love Robin <laughs> Williams, but it's really, 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 really bad. It's, it's almost as bad as Survivor, but I really enjoyed Survivors with Robin Williams, Jerry Reed, and uh, Walter Matthau. So. And that that's like me. I can watch any Robin Williams movie except for Flubber. You know, uh, I've never seen Flubber, so I'm, I'm a good person. The first one was kind of cool the, oh with uh fred mcmurray yeah first yeah. one was pretty cool yeah so the second one, like eh. yeah so we ready to dig down into it batter up baby all right man the top 21 baseball pitchers of all time now i'm gonna say on the outset my list is my top 21 favorite personally I didn't go through and look up statistics. 
you're going to say no way on this guy being in this slot. It's going to be the same way with Joe's also, but you know, just yeah. sit back and enjoy some baseball. And this being said, if you're watching this tonight, um, tomorrow we're having a interview at the keeping the nostalgia live show on YouTube and also keeping the nostalgia live .com If you want to take a look or take a, a, a audio, listen, at mm -hmm. keeping the nostalgia alive, all one word dot podbean dot com, you'll find over two hundred interviews um, uh, on there. Two hundred? You're oh, at two hundred yeah, now? Man. man, I think I'm at two twenty one. Hallelujah! But, uh, all but right, Indiana native and um, Tommy John will be yeah. joining us. The sure. person with the second most victories in baseball and is not in the Hall of Fame. Uh, the number one is uh, Roger Clemens, which I will talk about a little bit later on in our little program here. And of course, uh, Tommy John comes in at number two at 288 victories. And he lost a season and a half. Yeah, with a surgery. Prime, a prime pitching. And yeah, of course, sure. a lot of people now will hear is Tommy John and think of the, uh, the surgery, which, you know, and, and I have been enjoying the heck out of Tommy John. TJ, my 26 years in baseball, I oh, cool. have been enjoying the heck out of this. Someone, uh, I bought the book online and someone named Jeff, this was autographed <laughs> to by Tommy yeah. John. Right. And he got rid of it. So um, tomorrow interview, <laughs> keeping the nostalgia live .podbean .com, the keeping the nostalgia live show on YouTube. We'll have an interview with the great Tommy John. So with that being said, the blackjack, Yes. Of pitchers of all time. And we're going to let Joe go first at number 21. The blackjack table, number 21, is a personal pick. I got an assist from my brother Ben on some of these. Um, he wrote a really cool, this is a Homer pick. He wrote, and my brother told me this story. Um, he wrote a really cool letter to Hammer and Hank Aaron when he hit 755 and he said i was number 201 202 and 203 anderson's own brooklyn dodgers carl erskine yes very nice and it's not a bad pick it's a great pick and if i'm not mistaken he's still alive correct yeah him and uh jumping johnny wilson who was mr basketball at anderson in 1945 are really close friends and, yeah. um, uh, you know, I think, um, uh, of course, jumping Johnny Wilson has passed away, but, uh, great pick, man. That's not a Homer pick. That's a great pick. Thank you. Thank you. And, and um, so if I'm not mistaken, my number 20, let me get the little Vaseline on the ball. <laughs> uh, Gaylord Perry. He, the, his character was in the movie major league. Oh yeah. So, oh, yeah. It, yeah, great movie. Kind of had the Vaseline or whatever on his chest. <laughs> right, right. And, and that great, great actor. I can't recall his name, but also in Hoosiers. Uh-huh. Mister. <laughs> I'll personally tie you to blah, 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 and sit you down the moan <laughs> on. Uh, but yeah. uh, Gaylord Perry, uh, I think he, he did not pitch for uh, uh, only two teams. <laughs> Right. Yeah. No, no kidding. He was all over the place, but, uh, uh, just, I don't know what it was when I was a kid. One of my favorite baseball cards to collect was Gaylord Perry. And, uh, I, it, he's number 21 on my list. Yeah. With baseball cards, like me and my brother collected those. And, um, when we were kids, it was tops cards and then they expanded later, but there were cards before then that weren't just tops. But that gum would break your mouth. <laughs> it was straight up break your mouth, and the flavor lasted for all two seconds. So, Tops is the only baseball card besides Frosted Flakes, where you got them in the uh, cereal <laughs> or right. on the bottom of a Twinkies box. <laughs> you're and not old had, enough. I never had. You're I not old enough, bro. Those. You're not old I never, enough. I cut mine out, and it was Tommy John, Greg Lazinski, and Enos Cabell. I I was old enough for Twinkies was banned from the Carney Complex. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, 
My number 20, uh, another one of my personal favorites. I love when I was a kid, I loved him because he was super cool and he could pitch a fastball. Houston Astros, J.R. Richards. Ooh, very nice. Ooh, great pick. Great pick. Great pick. Um, oh, he could throw, he could throw some heat. <laughs> Quite. <laughs> well, I don't know if it's gray hair or an older pitcher, uh, but maybe somebody who reminded me of somebody in my family, but number 20, Phil Negro. Yes, I have him higher. He, he was a great pitcher. And Phil Necro also probably there's only two teams they didn't pitch for. <laughs> right. And I, I'm thinking him or his brother had the sandpaper in the side. Uh, his brother, Joe, had the. What? What? Oh, that? Yep. The sandpaper in his pocket. Yep. You go to YouTube, <laughs> type that in, man. The best thing is his reaction afterwards. I got that wasn't in my, <laughs> wasn't in my pocket. But uh, uh, may he rest in peace, Phil Necro. Good pick. Um, I can't remember the second team. It may have been the Cubs. Um, 19, uh, reliever extraordinaire, Oakland A's, Dennis Eckersley. Oh, started out with the Cleveland Indians, Oakland A's, that mm -hmm. big uh, 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 Mark McGuire, um, Jose Canseco lineup. Yeah. Uh, earthquake. <laughs> At 92, kind of, 92. Yeah, and kind of side, that side crazy pitch. Yeah. And you're right, he did look cool with the, the hair flowing. And the, if they had the slow-mo from the iPhones, you know, his mustache would have been flowing too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Number 19. Mm -hmm. Tommy John. I, I, I forgot him in my list because I did the Google thing and – um he was nowhere to be found, which I thought. And my number two pick was weighted, rated way lower. And I'm like, get out of town. I, I, I read that and I was like, get out of town with that mess. Yeah, Tommy so. John uh, from Terre Haute, Indiana. Mm -hmm. uh, his dad pretty much told Adolf Rupp to, you know, get out and don't let the sunshine hit you where the good Lord split you. Uh, right. And um, <laughs> that was just... You know, 288 victories. Come on, people. Lost a season and a half. You've got – he has to be – your job is not to keep people out of the Hall of Fame. Right. You know, so – Well, it's it's like you said last week. The sports writers are getting younger, and they don't appreciate – That's true, the, too. The, the but, older – But pitchers. you got to get, get hit your head out of your butt crack if you're on the <laughs> Veterans Committee and you do not – you do not <laughs> – yeah. Just do the right thing. Tommy John at number um, at number nineteen, and um, uh, I, I, he could probably be higher, but I don't want to get yeah. homer saying I'm, that I'm a homer. Uh, Terre Haute Gerstmeyer was a great basketball player. Had almost thirty five. Had over thirty five offers to go play college basketball. Um, yeah. Signed with the Cleveland Indians. Twenty six years in baseball, man. Yeah. Can't be I mean, that. I mean, that was a record too until. Um, uh, who who broke that record for being longer in baseball? I can't remember, but uh, but uh, number nineteen is Tommy John. Um, we talked. You talked about this earlier. Uh, um, how these? Uh, Mister Petroleum Jelly Gaylord Perry. <laughs> yeah, he's just, he's just cool looking, and that hair occasionally looked like he put Vaseline in it. So that could have been where he got that Vaseline. It's speaking. <laughs> Didn't he play with the uh, Mariners for a while? Yeah, I think, you know. Uh, that, that was the worst uniform. He did not look good in that uniform at all. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but I will say on a more recent present day note, mm -hmm. worst uniforms ever, Miami Heat from last night. Didn't see it. Oh, my gosh. That is just just awful. Just dreadful. Awful. Oh, dreadful, awful, ugly, wrong, wrong. Hideous. And Jeff Van Gundy even said, oh, my gosh, what, what are they wearing? What are they wearing? <laughs> now, it's interesting for – did you do – you did 18, right? Gaylord Perry, right? Yeah, it was 18, right? Okay. I've got a tie for 18. I have a couple of those on my list. Okay. And my tie is between Smokey Joe Wood which Google him. I'm not going to tell you any more information. 
and the, and and the great and the great Louis Tiant. He's on my list too. Yeah. That's yep. number 18 for me, but you're going to have to Google Smokey Joe Wood. I just didn't make the name up. Okay. Fair enough. My uh, number 17 is Snidely Whiplash himself, Raleigh Fingers of the Oakland A's. Raleigh Fingers, Bruce Souter, John yeah. Franco. Yeah. Great relievers, man. Great, great relievers. And who? <laughs> Smutleys are, yeah. What's that guy's? What's that? Yeah. Um, yeah. Great. Uh, um, Mutley. Yeah. Uh, was a Milwaukee brewer also for just a a, 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 a snack. But, uh, <laughs> you know, with those great Oakland A's teams with um, uh, Joe Rudy, Amos Otis. Um, oh, yeah. Very good. Yeah. Snidely Whiplash uh, capturing Nell and tying her to the tracks for Dudley Do Right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. And, and great. And Sparky Lyle also had a great mustache. Yes, he did. A, yes, a he fantastic did. mustache. Now, number 17, you probably have him higher, but number 17 is the, in the 21 that I have on my list and the 21 that you have on your list, I guarantee num my number 17 has hit the most home runs than anybody else as a pitcher. This can't be this guy. Go ahead. Babe Ruth. Oh, I, he's on my list. And yeah, it would have been interesting, man, man. Do both for a little while, man. Do yeah. both for a little while longer, you know? Get your money yeah. the Yankee. <laughs> right. And I love watching all the Babe Ruth movies and, you know, and mm -hmm. reading about Babe Ruth, the big Bambino, and, you know, all that kind of stuff. And John Goodman did a halfway uh, decent yeah. job in The Babe. But, um, um, but what, what a great thing to be able to, you know, be a great pitcher. Mm -hmm. and, and no one else has done that no nobody so, yeah um my number 16 is mr underwear model himself jim palmer oh man i have jim a little bit higher he has uh, great hair yes and where's the underwear <laughs> he, he, he don't care great baltimore <laughs> oriole correct um good pick man can't can't argue right. with you there, and we I haven't been I haven't been able I don't think we'll be able to argue with each other on any of the picks. Yeah, so it's just yeah. our memories and and where we put the pitchers within the list. Mm -hmm. And number sixteen is the great Satchel Page. I didn't. I forgot to put him on there. Great, Satchel you know, Page. He was a trivia answer on trivia night that I do Thursday night, and people. <laughs> One table to the left of me said, that question is impossible to answer. And I'm like, really? When was the last time you checked your baseball sports history, pal? It's legit. The Negro Leagues are a legit question, Holmes. So, yeah. So there you have it. Um, my number 15, you, you, uh, you mentioned him before, the... He almost ran Beantown himself, Babe Ruth, before he switched to the traitorous New York Yankees. Well, that wasn't his fault. No, not at all. Yeah. Man, and to do all that and not be in shape. Not even close. He was never in shape. You, you can you can show me, uh, you know, someone punching his gut or him doing some uh, some sit ups, but uh, just just not in shape. And to have the career that he did. Now, I would like to have in this hand today's baseball, and in this hand the night late or the nineteen uh, twenties, nineteen thirties baseball, to see if there really was a difference. But without a doubt, yeah. But I, but I, but I like uh, Babe Ruth in that slot. The the old ball is probably a lot heavier. Uh, don't know. I, I wish I had both. Yeah, sure. So, number 15 for me. Five Cy Young Awards. Mm -hmm. Got to watch him pitch in the minor leagues. Mm -hmm. um, if you have any doves or any pigeons, don't let them fly in front of him. Randy Johnson. <laughs> I hear Prince playing the song right now. <laughs> <laughs> 
What are the odds, man? What are the odds? That's that's just a crazy story. But uh, the Indianapolis yeah. Indians, when they were the farm club for the Montreal Expos, I absolutely okay. positive. My uh, we, we, my grandfather and I got to watch him pitch a couple times. Did I think he was going to turn out to be what he what he what he did? I don't remember, but you know there there were some great ball players uh, that came through Indianapolis. I know I'm a homer by saying that, but that's where I got to see Randy Johnson, and I'm glad I did. So Randy Johnson's my number fifteen. He's higher on my list, but that you know that's a strong pick. I, I and my brother told me I didn't know he played for the Indians. Yeah, uh, my number fourteen. Well, it's because I came home every day with my brother and was able to watch him every day. Lee Smith, the Cubs. Oh man, that's a blast from the past. Right, sure. Yeah, and watching the Cubs on TV and the stands half full and <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so this guy should probably be higher. Uh, he has four Cy Young awards and can't really, if you wanted him to paint your house, he couldn't, but he could sure paint the corners and that's Greg Maddox. I've, I've got him as well. I've got him higher, but yes. Yeah. Um, great, great picture for the Braves. Not a bundle of personality. <laughs> Not at all. Not the twist like Louis Tian. Not the tongue hanging out like Babe Ruth, you know, um, Smokey Joe Wood. You guys are going to go back and Google that because I'm not telling you nothing about Smokey Joe Wood. It's not the it's not a flavor of a beef jerky. It's not a flavor <laughs> of a, a rum or a tequila. Smokey Joe Wood. Look him up. Look him up. Look him up. But uh, Greg Maddox, number 14. I have one thing to say about Greg Maddox. Chicks dig the long ball. <laughs> 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 uh my number 13 you touched on him earlier um he just had so much style super cool Louis tion oh man his son i'm connected with his son on social media uh -huh. and if i'm not mistaken Louis tion is also not in the he's not that and that is wrong also i looked at some mm -hmm. of his numbers let me see did I, did I write some of his numbers down uh, I did not. I just put uh, parentheses with the Cy Young Awards. So, but no, that's wrong too. He needs to be in there too. Yeah, without a doubt. Yep, yep. Even though my Cincinnati Reds, you know, took care of the situation in '75. <laughs> okay, number thirteen for me. If I'm not mistaken, Walter the Train Johnson. Yeah, Walter I've Johnson. Got higher. I've got okay. Higher, yeah. Uh, and everything I've read in baseball and seeing pictures. There was a book that my grandfather got me probably in fifth or sixth grade. Man, I can't remember the title of it, but it was about that thick. It was gold. And that's where I just, my uh, interest in history, I you know I, I got a history degree from Indiana State University. Uh, that's just where my love for wanting to know, you know, like I just told you, Smokey Joe Wood <laughs> and look up Walter Johnson. Great stories, a uh, great pitcher. Um, I did the same thing, and it's um, interesting you bring that up because in sixth grade they had the complete series of the sports encyclopedias at my elementary school. And I'm not lying to you. I memorized them. So, you ever heard of Sara Ara O? Uh, the home run hitter from Japan? Correct. Okay. I, didn't, I, didn't, I knew nothing about this guy. Mm -hmm. And he, yeah, he has the most home run hits of anyone of all time. And he's not heard of because he played in Japan. Right. Right. Um, we had a, a thing of books and it's very interesting how as time goes by and history goes by, uh, uh, the pimp of the NFL, Joe Namath, Correct. And <laughs> the kind of the kind of bad guy of the NFL, OJ Simpson. You know, they right. had those thin books, and I just recall there were probably others within there, but I just recall the O.J. Simpson and, and Joe Namath books and memorizing those. Yeah. Now, I, I couldn't remember, memorize all 20 volumes, but it was it. you don't have books like that anymore. Yeah. Oh, Time Life did a great thing on the, the decades, the 20s, 30s, yeah. 40s, 50s. And, I, oh, man, I can just sit in the library and just read those and, you know, look at the pictures and, Mm -hmm. keeping the nostalgia alive that's why i do that now so yeah yeah well it's in here's the thing billy 
you're doing more than keeping the nostalgia alive. You're keeping the history alive because nobody knows the history. And there's so many holes on the internet of gaps of information in sports history or world history or American history. It's like unbelievable. Yeah. And it, it will be forgotten unless, and that's why I enjoy recording my shows. Like, uh, uh, I was talking the other day to a friend, Gene, Gene Bumper Tormolin, uh, from Holland, Indiana, same place, same high school that Don, Don Boozy played, uh, high school, uh, went on to Tennessee, had a great career, had a great career in the NBA, uh, had a great coaching career. Uh, he's passed away, you know, he's passed away in the past year, year and a half, but I have him on tape. I have his voice telling stories. So that can't be forgotten if somebody wants to listen to it. And especially for family and your your grandkids, your great grandkids, your great great grandkids, you know, down the line. So, you know, keeping, sorry, I went off on a little tangent there and keeping the sounds alive. Thank you for bringing that up. So, no problem. Well, for example, about the holes and the internet, if you look up stuff on the American Football League and the American Basketball Association, it is not deep at all. Oh, no. And there is great, great material on, uh, especially Facebook, on the ABA, the history of the ABA. Right. right. And speaking of that, man, and and we didn't plan this. No, we didn't. But I do have, it's called We Changed the Game. And it is how, in 1967 and 1976, how a new league, the ABA, a small group of dreamers and some amazing situations changed the culture of a city and face of basketball forever. It's about the city of Indianapolis. It's about the Indiana Pacers. It's from Bob Nedelicki. Sure, I know. Yeah, I remember Bob. And this was autographed to me. To my buddy, Billy. Uh, Thanks for everything, Bob Nedelicki, number 24. But, um, um, okay, let's get off that tangent. Of course. My uh, number 12 is the brotherly pick, the uh, Joe and Phil Negro. Okay. Well, my number 12, you got to look them up. Fabulous t- statistics. Um, Ken Burns. Like a, a 22-hour series. You can find it on PBS or the PBS app about baseball. No. no. Time out. <laughs> no, 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 no. Ken Burns is the director of this documentary series. Oh, about this person? Yes. You can oh, learn, you saying. can Ken learn, Burns yeah, no, your number 12. no, 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 no. <laughs> Actually, Ken Burns would be up top of that list if you want to, just on how he pitched baseball to those who don't know it, but right. Ken Burns, I think it's baseball in America. I mean, I, yeah. I should be probably yeah. slapped for not knowing the title, yeah. but you learn things about Chris, Christy Matheson. You learn things about yeah. Cy Young. You learn things about Walter Johnson, you, you know, so it's uh, you learn things about what's happening in the society as baseball is being played and how baseball play is a big factor uh, in keeping people not depressed or keeping people with a, uh, uh, a, uh, a hobby or something they look forward to listening to on the radio, reading in, uh, in the newspaper. Um, I digress. No, no, no. You're exactly right. Um, he also touched on the Negro leagues with Josh Gibson. And if you mm-hmm. look the Negro leagues up on, the internet there's a huge hole there too oh big time and you know what the thing of it is people don't understand you can watch 42 you can you can mm. you can you can, you can read about uh jackie robinson uh but there are so many others who yeah are better ball players but someone someone had to go through and go who is going to represent you know that first person who's going to break this barrier the best you know and it's an interesting story about josh gibson Oh, without a it's doubt. It's a very interesting story because Josh Gibson probably should have been the first. In that, that that's just my yeah. opinion. That's just my I agree opinion. with you. Yes, I agree with you. Yeah. Um up next, uh this guy got a whole bunch of hate mail because of this race, which I didn't know at all. Brooklyn Dodgers Sandy Koufax. <sighs> I have Sandy higher. And uh-huh. yes, yes, racism, stereotyping, bad. Yes, without a doubt. Um, but he also, too, you know, did not, because of his religious beliefs, did not pitch on a Saturday, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, yeah. that's correct. 
Yeah. Oh, it wasn't his race. It was religion. My no, fault. Right, 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 right. So religious beliefs. Oh, so you have, if you look at the history of baseball and uh-huh. you study it correctly, it's like reading the history of the United, the history of the United States. Well, it was America's game. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think it is today though. Not even close. I know it's a pandemic and all that kind of stuff, but I don't, I don't think it is. So you, you did number 11. Correct. Okay. My number 11 is Bob Feller. Cleveland Indians extraordinaire. The one time they won the world series was with Bob Feller. Yep. Uh, he plays a big part in who's on first. You got a pitcher. <laughs> I got a feller. Oh, okay. <laughs> Quiet. Who's, who's pitching? Feller. <laughs> Man, my best part of the for, who's on first is, uh, do you have a pitcher today? Do you have a catcher tomorrow? Well, now you, you just have a couple of dates on your hand. <laughs> right. so Bob, Bob Feller, number 11. Uh, my number 10 you touched on earlier, um, put the Arizona Diamondbacks on the map, Randy Johnson. Randy Johnson. Uh, my number 10, uh, Mr. Underwear, Jim Palmer. <laughs> he did a great job uh, as a uh, baseball color commentary, whatever, whatever, you play-by-play color commentary. I get him confused. Right, right. Um, but um, uh, Jim Palmer, number 10. Right. I touched on him earlier. Um, he was number one. And I got this list partially from baseballegg.com. He was number one. Number nine, Walter Johnson. The train. Yeah. Um, my number nine, uh, not the greatest pitcher of all time, but man, did he have. <sighs> because maybe he didn't have a personality, he's not known as well as he should be but is whitey ford i yeah i'm uh, he's on my list he's higher um i mean because you had the roger maris situation going on you had mickey uh-huh. battle situation going on you yeah. know so you know you, you he got kind of left in the dust a little bit by the way 61 by um billy crystal has got to be uh, one of the better baseball movies by the way fantastic movie mickey yeah. mantle and uh roger maris amazing yeah had but by the way um have you read the book or seen the movie 700 sundays with billy crystal uh you know i started it and watched it a little bit i think i took a sleeping pill and dozed off and i need to go back and probably revisit it yeah that's it's really good it's about his really dad good. taking him to baseball games too yes 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 yeah yeah yeah, very very good uh movie or book um we touched on number eight chicks dig the long ball greg maddox of the brace all right paint the corners <laughs> there is a you'll have to google it once again along with smoky joe wood but the very first baseball game google it and see if you can find the audio. I can't remember the comedian, but he does a great, it was from the Bob and Tom show, but he did it. Oh, and he does the voice. He does an impersonation of Harry Carey. You talking about the game with Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> you know, coming up from the burning league, from the burning league. Is burning a, you know, yes. The burning Bush leagues. Yes. yes. Oh my God. It's Lazarus up to bat next. Lazarus. Uh, yes. Oh, I'm sorry. Lazarus. Oh, he's hit. <laughs> He's down. He goes down, yes. But he gets back up. That's the sixth time this week. <laughs> Lazarus can really take one for the team. All right. Fishes and loaves night. <laughs> oh, there's a partial score in. Bottom uh, six, Gamora nine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, man, that was good stuff, man. That was good stuff. <laughs> Peter takes the sign. He denies it. That's the third Again. time. He's n- Jesus is now out to give Peter a sermon on the mound. <laughs> okay, where were we, man? We on number eight? Did you just yeah. say number eight? Yeah, yeah. Okay, um, I got you a good chuckle. That's fun. Uh, uh, number eight for me is Detroit Tiger, mainly uh, Mickey Lolich. 
Yeah, look, look Mickey Lolich up with uh, Smokey Joe Wood. Now, Mark Fidrich didn't make my list. Okay. The type, but because he, he could he could have made your list. The guy was an entertainer, man. An unfortunate accident a few years, um, you know, several years ago with yeah you know, losing the uh, the bird. Yeah, yeah. Did I'll you put you, so you didn't put him on your list? No, I remember the Sports Illustrated cover with him and Big Bird of Sesame Street. It was oh fantastic. yeah, I got to see him pitch for the Evansville Triplets at ah. Be- beautiful Bush Stadium. So that was uh, that was fun to do. Um, my number seven, you touched on him earlier, Whitey Ford of the Yankees. So, good good pitcher. We're coming to you from Houston, Texas, and Indianapolis, Indiana. And I'm going to be probably <sighs> Nolan Ryan, number seven. I'm assuming you have him higher? Just a wee <laughs> bit. All right, man. It's all right. It's all right. Wait till you hear the rest of my list. Okay. Um, my number six is a double shot. Super cool Vita Blue and Dave Stewart. Ooh. That's a great combo, man. Yeah. yeah. That's a great combo. That's a that's a Vita Blue and the first person you think of is Dave Stewart. Or Dave yeah. Stewart and the first person you think of is Vita Blue. Yeah. Ah, very good. Now, well, my number six is Sandy Koufax. Yeah. So, and like just that. think if he would have ex- extended his career, what he would have done. Oh, without a doubt. What a what a what a what a great piece of history. My next guy is probably ranked too high, and I don't care. However, it's Jim Abbott. Oh yes, 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 yes. My number five. And through two no hitters. Without an arm. Without a without a left arm. Or left hand. <laughs> hand. Left hand. Yeah. I cannot I cannot disagree with that. Um my number five for you um youngsters out there, Smokey <laughs> Joe Wood, Walter Johnson, and look up Warren Spawn. Yeah. Not the movie with uh uh you know, that was pretty bad. <laughs> spawn but warren spawn right gotcha good good pitcher great pitcher i'm familiar with him <laughs> not spawn by yeah. Todd McFarlane. R- r- right warren spawn right um i thought he was a part of the big red machine but he came later um superstar tom siever who we lost recently oh yes um uh, new york met chicago white Sox, cincinnati red Yep. Um, t- Tom terrific. And, yep. um, a matter of fact, we'll just go ahead and have Tom terrific. Take that spot for both of us. Cause I do have him on my list one more higher, but I'm going to put him, uh, Tom Seaver in that. And, you know, you'd always drag that, uh, right knee. Was he a lefty? Yes. Okay. And he would drag that right knee in that mud and, you know, you, you know, look like he'd, uh, played out in the field all day. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> Uh, my number three, change the game. Cardinals Bob Gibson. My number three, change the game, and it's Cardinal Bob Gibson. Really? Very inter- yes, it is. Very interesting pick. And what what a talented man. Oh, without you know, a doubt. I mean, yeah, you might as well say that, uh, you know, Bob Gibson equals the real meaning of earn run average. Yes. So... You know, and of course, kept the White Sox from, you know, breaking the Bambino's curse. And, and, mm-hmm. um, no, I have him at number three. So, you know, I, I flip flopped my Tom Seaver and Bob Gibson, but Bob Gibson is number three. Um, my next pitcher, uh, had a very long, illustrious career, hit his share of home runs. And if he rushed the mound, he would bust you right in the mouth. No one, Ryan. Yes. Uh, Robin Ventura. Not correct. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Robin Ventura, man, and then finished the game. Uh, no, uh, there was one game where he had blood on his shirt from a fight and still finished yeah. the game, throwing a shutout or a complete game or whatever. Yeah, 
Okay, so my number two has four Cy Young Awards. Yeah. Um, Steve Carlton. Ah, there you go. I have a story from Bill Naharandi, I think is his name. Yeah. Because Steve Carlton never threw a no hitter. Right. And Bill was a catcher for, um, I can't remember what team he was playing for, but he, he broke up a Steve Carlton no hitter and is loved in the places that he broke it up and hated in Philadelphia. <laughs> right. I have an interesting story about uh, Steve. I, I've never met him, but I told you, I told you my Pete Rose story. Mm -hmm. And George Foster and about the amc pacer and he was super cool and uh i called ahead of time and i said would he sign any things that had phillies on it and he said yes so um i've been meaning to get this back to my vsu buddy but i never have but i will he signed on a steve carlton picture pete rose signed go phillies and i've got the ticket stub in the back so it's legit Oh, very cool. Now, yeah. you know, it just came to me mm -hmm. of, why, of why you're a little special. Okay. You went to Ball State, right? Yes, in the 90s. And you guys had tri-semesters. Uh, maybe. You had, you had three semesters instead of fall and spring? We had fall and spring. You didn't have tri -sem You didn't have three semesters? Maybe that was in the 80s. Yeah, we, I we apologize, had, Joe. That's, that's quite all right. We had fall and spring. Speaking of Joe, look up Smokey Joe Wood. <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> so, we're coming in number one. Yep. My numero uno, uh, World Series 1980, Steve Carlton, all day. Uh, who was your number two? Owen Ryan. Man, I like your picks, man. Thank you. Um, now, my number one is a great, great. Uh, hold on, my wife is texting me. Oh, I have to bring down a new Kleenex box when I come down. <laughs> oh, who's crying? <laughs> <laughs> she does have she has a cold so oh. this is a great trivia question okay sure how and and you're you're going to get it right off the bat but ask somebody who thinks they know baseball okay sure or knows a little bit about baseball mm -hmm. how many cy young awards did cy young win <laughs> <laughs> there you go bro. <laughs> i have him at 511 victories Right. Uh, you, an award named after you. Right. I mean, kind of, I, I agree with your, your Nolan Ryan express and, you know, uh, uh, Steve Carlton, but you know, I, you know, he had a, he had a, a, a you know, Cy Young 511 victories. Of course, all of his hats were short and stubby. Right. And yeah. ugly and ugly. Yeah. Yeah. Like he was going to church when he pitched, but Cy Young is my number one. <laughs> oh, and I do have a nice little thing. I think you'll enjoy found this here locally 1980 oh man 1980 1980 tour yeah and you know where david lee ross from yeah indiana yeah you got out of here as quick as possible that's why i was so successful <laughs> so that was the blackjack of pitchers i'll double down our all fa all-time <laughs> favorite pitchers what's that you'll double down I'll double down. <laughs> you could do relievers. You could do, um, uh, uh, you know, uh, short relievers, whatever you wanted to do. We thought we'd have fun with this one and do the top 21, uh, mm -hmm. our top 21 pitchers of uh, all time. Please go to the Billy and Joe top 10 show on Facebook. Like us, subscribe to us, follow us, whatever it's called. Go to the Keeping the Nostalgia. Go to YouTube. Type in the Keeping the Nostalgia Live Show. You'll find us there. Please subscribe to that channel. Also, uh, in your comment section, please let us know because we know 
the only thing that we do on social media is if we don't like what you say, we'll comment. But if you agree, you won't comment. Uh, yes and no, but I, I hear what you're saying. <laughs> Here, here's something crazy, Billy, that I want your feedback on. I love live shows as long as they're not astronomical like Paul McCartney. Um, but uh, Toby Mac is coming here um uh next thursday to banker's life i don't know how they're going to get that done wow i don't i don't get it how, how how's that going to be safe uh, yeah and they're doing actually 25 percent capacity in all the games for the ncaa ncaa tournament too yeah i don't know man i don't know and i do want to put this out there as well my uh uncle uncle from evansville told me that Sink capsules help you against all viruses, including the big one. So what do you call him? Uncle E because he's from Evansville? Uncle Dave. <laughs> Uncle Dave. Now, I'm going to, I want to close with this, but once again, uh, uh, Joe Carney is always uh, a big, your co-host of the show. Uh, Indy's local flavor, uh, anchor.fm. Please uh, go to iTunes, subscribe to his, listen to his shows. Um I was going to close with something and I forgot what I was going to say. It'll come to you. Yeah. Oh, speaking of things going on in present day, uh, we are alive here in Houston. Good. It was a crazy week that felt like two weeks. And, and I, sure. I really don't think we were in the news until like two days later after uh, all that was bad was going on. I, I didn't know uh, Cancun was sponsoring that, and I didn't know the Cowboys <laughs> sponsored gas gas companies. That was so oh, interesting. Oh, man. And poor, that was poor, so interesting. Poor Senator Cruz and his walk of shame in the airport, man. That was <laughs> that was so sad. So, But please, uh, uh, like I said, go to keepingthenostalgialive.podbean.com. You can hear my audio podcast, and you can find – uh, me and Joe at the Keeping the Nostalgia Live show on YouTube. And please subscribe once again to our Facebook page, the, Keep, the Billy and Joe Top 10 Show. Uh, Joe Carney, as uh, usual, thank you so much. And uh, we'll see you guys next week. Thank you, bro. Enjoy your week. <laughs>